I'm Dr. Pasha Mukherjee and I'm here with Superdrug to talk to you about Stoptober. Now, Stoptober is all about giving up smoking because according to research, if you're able to give up for just 28 days, then you're five times more likely to give up for good. And so far, Stoptober has helped over one million people quit smoking. Now, I don't need to tell you about the many risks that come with smoking, from increasing your chances of contracting some types of cancer, to upping your risk of heart disease, to even impacting your lung capacity and ability to exercise. We already know the many different ways that smoking can impact your health in a negative way. But while it's important to recognize the risks associated with smoking, I'm here to talk to you about the many positives of quitting smoking. Let's look at the many benefits that you can look forward to if you decide to say goodbye to cigarettes this October. The most amazing thing is that the health benefits of quitting begin just 20 minutes after you smoked your last cigarette as your heart rate begins to go back to normal. Within eight hours, your oxygen levels would have come back to normal as well, and the carbon monoxide levels of your blood will have come down by half. In just one day, your risk of heart attack drops dramatically. Then, after 48 hours, your body will have flushed out all that carbon monoxide, and your lungs start to clear out all its mucus. At 72 hours, you'll notice your breathing gets better, and that you have more energy. That is really something to note there, because no matter how long you've been a smoker, just three days after quitting smoking, you'll start to notice the benefits that your health is experiencing. This change then continues over the next weeks to months. Between two and 12 weeks, your blood circulation begins to improve, which means you're less likely to develop a blood clot. And you might even see an improvement in your ability to do cardio. So it's easier to exercise, to run, to jump, and to take part in any intense movement. Your muscles and bones will also become stronger, which means you're less likely to be prone to injury later in life. Giving up will also have a positive effect on your immune system, which will be less exposed to tar or nicotine, which means in general, you will be less likely to get sick. You might even notice a lift in your mood. People who have given up smoking for 12 months often say that they feel more positive. The reason for this is that nicotine can actually damage certain pathways in our brain that are linked with our ability to experience feelings of happiness. So while in those initial withdrawal stages, you might feel stressed or anxious, just know that if you push past that, there are better days coming. For both men and women, there are huge benefits of quitting smoking in relation to reproduction. For females, quitting will allow estrogen levels to return to normal and improve your chances of a healthy pregnancy. While for men, giving up will decrease your risk of erectile dysfunction and just give you a better sex life overall. There are even beauty benefits to be had, from a whiter smile, to clearer skin and less wrinkles. Quitting can help to stop the anti-aging effects that cigarettes have on the skin. It's not just you that's going to reap in the benefits, but also your friends and family, as secondhand smoking can increase the risk of lung cancer, lung disease and stroke for those around you. I'd be lying to you if I told you it's all going to be plain sailing you are going to experience some side effects of going through the process of giving up cigarettes. But the positive news is that most of these side effects only last two to four weeks. And there are multiple coping mechanisms that you can put in place to make sure that you're not thrown off course. First up, make sure you're drinking lots of water. Not only will this help with any coughs you might be experiencing, but it will also stave off the hunger pangs that you experience. Because stopping smoking is associated with an increase in your appetite in the short term. Don't worry though, this side effect is very common and after a few weeks your appetite should go back to normal. With that being said, make sure to keep some healthy snacks around the house. You may also notice that you're more irritable than normal. When this happens, it's a good idea to give yourself a break. Take a walk, run a bath, or watch something that you love on TV. So, how do you go about taking part in Stoptober? Well, 
the first thing to do is to think about the type of support that you may need. You might want to think about nicotine patches, finding peer support, or online help, downloading an app to track your progress, or even take a look at nicotine replacement therapy. Finding the right support for you is really important. In fact, you're three times more likely to stick to your goals if you don't try to do it alone. And the most important thing, remember that making a big change in your life like stopping smoking can be daunting. And the best way to stop it from becoming overwhelming is to take things slowly. Reach out, look for support. Don't beat yourself up if you have to take a step back. And most importantly, Focus on all the benefits that could be awaiting you in the future. Thank you. Bye.